guys, I'm Mo, welcome back to my art channel. So I was like procrastinating the whole day today, but a miracle just happened because I think I found the original page of Jump on You. So the publisher of all these amazing mangas like One Piece, Dragon Ball, also the guys who create these drawing videos that I reacted to. Jump on You! Jump on You! Oh my god, look at the hands, guys. It's, it's, it's not fair. I'm gonna find out what this channel is about because as you know, I don't know any Japanese and I wish I, I would. Like they have like food here with drawing. Let's check this out. Okay, what is happening? Oh my God. Yo. Yo, what the frick is happening guys? I think that's the reason why I have to definitely somehow Learn Japanese, cause if anyone knows what's going on, let me definitely know down in the comments, guys. I love that. Oh, that looks good though. But since we're not like a food YouTube blog, we're gonna just go back to the main page. And we're gonna go back to what we can do best, reacting to famous manga artists drawing. We're gonna start with Black Clover. That's what we want. Oh, I think they kind of changed the intro. It's not the Jump Ryu uh, intro anymore. It's just kind of sad. Okay, let's go. That looks already epic and I... I don't know anything about Black Clover, so... And the drawing is already done as well. But we can at least see some of the inking. And he's using like a pretty thick pen for this, so that's pretty cool. You know what's I always like really fascinating is that those guys like they start like just somewhere on the page and then they put in a lot of detail on that small tiny section and then they just move on to another tiny section, put a lot more detail into this as well. Every time I draw I like to, you know, do the outlines first or like the I don't know, the overall shape of the body and then I work on the details, but this guy He's doing it completely different and it's definitely a cool approach. I, I really like that. Um, that always reminds me that I, ever since I started watching these videos, I wanted to try out the G-Pens. And actually, I have them lying around here for a couple of months already and um, this is definitely a video that's gonna come. Okay, let's jump forward to your bit. If you want to watch the full video, there's a link down in the description. Yo, but I love the line weight. And this is always so satisfying when I use like rulers with G pens. It's so epic, guys. I don't know. And I wish we could have taken a look on the underdrawing because it looks like really sketchy again. Um, but still amazing, yeah, you know, those guys not really like sketch like we do. They just <laughs> nail everything in the first drawing, so... Uh, yeah, I wish I could have seen this as well. But I love the character design actually, and the, the eyes, and the teeth, they look so cool. Okay, now he starts coloring, and he starts using just black Copic markers for filling in like this even bigger pieces of the drawing that needs to be black. He's using like this really wet to red. Oh god, terrible pronunciation. Like he's not waiting until the parts are dried and not like doing shadows uh, like the more cell shading way. He is just working really quick and you know with a lot of gradients which is definitely a cool approach. So you can see that this is a really smooth gradient from the dark black to the highlight here on top with the grays. Um, definitely a, a cool and interesting approach. Personally, I like the more hot shadows when it comes to Copic markers a lot more when you have cell shading on them rather than those smooth gradients. But I think that's what Copic markers are intentionally made for and that's what they do really well is, you know, doing cool gradients and shadows with gradients, so that's definitely interesting. Okay, that's interesting, let's go back here. Because he is using this purple Copic marker for the shadows. Which gives the shadows like this really bluish tint, so it looks uh, like really like a cool shadow against those warm colors. Looks definitely really cool. So that should be something we should maybe write down uh, that we could use for, for some of the drawings that we do later. 
I use blue shadows all the time when I do digital art, but not uh, with the comic markers. Definitely interesting. And another one of those cool, smooth gradients. You can see that the shadow side on the left down is darker and then he has this really smooth gradient to the light side. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and there it is. I mean, we have definitely seen better works. It's definitely an interesting approach. Let's see what else we have. I, because I think I saw an assassination classroom thumbnail down here somewhere. This one here, but this is only nine, 59 seconds. Oh, here's the full words in 10 minutes. Yes, that's what we need. I have seen I think one or two episodes of Assassination Classroom and let me tell you that it was like hello weird. I didn't really understand the thing and I think it's like insane. The story is insane. Like it's like if I remember correctly, it's the teacher and all of the students there, they try to kill the teacher. I forgot most of the plot though. But let's check out the art. That's what we are here for and I love that he is using a much more sketchy approach to this and I mean this character's face is not really that complicated Ah oh, man, this is like a narrated version Let's see if there are like English subtitles or something Ah uh, no Okay, ain't only Japanese subtitles so we can turn this off Oh yo, that's something I've never seen before He turns around the page and looks through it through the light because then he can see his image mirrored and if you look at your drawings mirrored, I do that all the time when you draw digitally, you can flip your drawing around horizontally and then you will see all the drawing mistakes that you did and that's what he's actually doing right here. But I've never seen anyone doing this with traditional art, that's such an amazing idea. I think we already learned quite a few things in this video today. So that's amazing guys. I'm so happy like I found this channel, so show them some love guys. Yo, that's so cool as well. Like two techniques I've never seen before anyone doing these. He has like this ruler where you can draw ellipses with. And he's using it for... Oh, have you seen that? Made in Germany, Rotring. Yo, that's amazing. I've never seen anyone using something like this for drawing other than like drawing on round shapes on cars like those te technical drawings where everything needs to be really accurate. That's so interesting guys, I, I love that. Have you ever seen something like that before? And he uses so many different pens, like now he's using a G pen as well. And he seems like such a perfectionist, like, you know, putting like crazy effort in every single line that's definitely something we have to adore and now he's just erasing some of the tiny mistakes with white out on the g-pen this looks so satisfying always and now he's like working so accurate like with this highlight on the top left on his character and now he's slowly working in this gradient to make this Head shape look like really three-dimensional. Yeah, there are not a lot of colors on this character. Some yellow, some white. Like he's shading the white with with actually some bright green. That's interesting. It looks so fun though. This color combination of like this really bright blue and the yellow, and then like this really pink Copic marker for the blush on the cheeks. Yo, it's so cool. I love it. I love it, guys. And I, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. It looks so accurate. It looks flawless, like perfect. Like, because he spent so much time on every single line in his drawing, on every single gradient. Like, yo, that gradient looks really epic, though. Okay, that's it for this video and also for this video. Yeah, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite one. The first one or the second one. And then I will hopefully see you guys in another episode of Illustrated Reacts. See you there. Bye bye guys.